So in the last video, we took a buffer and we had two liters of a buffer that was, uh, let me see, 1.0 moles per liter in acetic acid and it was 1.5 molar in sodium acetate. And we saw that the pH of this buffer was something like 4.84. And uh, when we added 0.1 moles of hydrochloric acid, the pH changed to 4.8. So a very, very small change in pH. In fact, I think the original buffer was actually 1.25 molar in acetic acid. So instead of doing that, let's look at two liters of water and calculate the change in pH when we add 0.1 moles of HCl to it. So if we start with two liters of water, we can see that the pH is going to be exactly seven because it's a neutral solution. And so the question is, if we add 0.1 moles of HCl to two liters of water, what will the pH be? All right, so let me see. So the pH is the negative log of the H plus concentration. So we've added essentially 0.1 moles of H plus. Okay, remember the HCl is a strong acid, so it 100% breaks down. And we've added it to two liters. So we can see our concentration then is 0.050 moles per liter. And what's the pH? The pH of um, that solution is the negative log of 0.050. So again, two significant figures becomes two decimal places. And I get 1.30, right? So that's whopping, right? So that is gone from 7 to 1.3. So that's a drop of what 5.70 units in pH whereas when we added it to the buffer it only dropped by 0.04 pH units so you can see that is the difference a buffer makes so in an unbuffered solution just a small tiddly little bit of acid or base will cause a massive swing in the pH but in a buffered solution as long as you don't overwhelm the buffer then uh, you will only see a very small change in pH